Hi everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. In this video, we are going to see how to add, how to add, modify or delete the record. Okay, modify the record or delete the record in the table. So before we proceed, I would like to tell you that this is my my channel where you can subscribe to get the latest updates. So every week I'll be uploading at least one video on AL programming for technical consultants and one one video on functional consultants. So subscribe and enable the bell icon to get the latest updates. And here you have an another exciting option that is to join as a member in my channel. So what is the difference? So if you join as a member, you will have uh, access to the exclusive perks specifically for the um, members. Okay. So uh, I have a lot of uh, books related to Dynamics 365 and also I am creating a checklist and the templates for both the technical and functional consultants on Dynamics 365 Business Central and of course on most of the Microsoft technology related technologies. So those uh, documents and books will be available for the members okay so you know if you want to join please click here join which you can select any one of the uh, perk advantage okay if you are a beginner you can select this if you are an experienced or if you are an expert so here you can find the, the playlist that is business center learning path this is available for everyone and here you can see this is the playlist for the members only which can be accessed only by the members where i'll be up updating i've already uploaded uh, um, technical consultant interview questions for 10 interview questions functional consultant 15 interview questions 10 scenario based questions and these here you can see the technical consultant interview questions here and also many exciting videos are lined up okay and uh, here you can see the business central um, uh, playlist for everyone so where i'll be up updating the AL tutorial every week okay once in a week and uh, I, we are in uh, retrieving the data from the database using business central AL programming and today we will be discussing about add or modify the data so yes <coughs> so we will be we have two three different options for adding or modifying the data okay what are those options so the very first one is what insert okay so the very first one is inserting the value into the record you can use insert function and second one is modify if you wanted to modify the existing record you can do that in in modify you can also do modify all which is related to the specific um, character or the keyword which you are trying to pass in and the next one is the delete and also you can use delete all okay so these three uh, things this five we are going to discuss along with where to use how to use and when to use okay the very first one which we are going to see is what the insert statement so insert statement is used to add a record into the database okay so if you want to add a record to the database record to your table then you can use an insert uh, insert function so before you can insert a data you need to set the values for each field that you want to store okay you have to tell what are the values you have wanted to insert okay so the insert command in addition to the modify and delete commands accept the run trigger boolean parameter by default the parameter value will be false so if the parameter is false the insert command doesn't run the on insert trigger on the table level so what it will do is even though we are writing it in the on action in the um, page here i have written a page but when you execute this code this insert comma insert uh, function will work as a on insert trigger which we usually use it right in the table level okay so this process is consistent with an assignment of a value to a field because it likewise doesn't run the on validate trigger so uh, this is a very simple coding which i'm just showing you so this this is a basic CRUD operation all things you know like uh, insert modify delete and delete all it's like what we'll call it as a CRUD operation in database okay so CRUD means what create C means create R means read U means update and D means delete okay you, we are just doing that okay <clears throat> 
so uh, here you can see you can effectively use um, insert to add the field into the add any data into the table okay so always validate the data before insertion to maintain data integrity and avoid redundant insert cells so this is the one which i have created it's a very simple so the first one is i have created a customer uh, variable where it holds the complete record of a customer okay that is all the fields in the customer so in the um, page so i have created a simple page and insert action i have created an action called insert so in the insert action i have uh, uh, initiated like i wanted to start with that okay so uh, init function i have used the init function here <laughs> so so what i wanted to uh, uh, add insert is what i wanted to insert the customer number as this and the customer name as my name okay and finally i wanted to tell that you have to insert and true because it should insert right so enable this to, to as i told it's a boolean okay so once it is done it will be inserted so i'll just show you how it is inserted people okay and i have just added number and the name so you can here you can add the it will be adding a number and the name and not the sales person or the location or something so let me just search search for manipulate uh, data so here just watch it here okay you can see a new record will be inserted here okay um i'm just going to enter insert so once if i click insert what happens it is opening like it is creating a 4711 and my name okay so this is what it is uh, so the very first thing which we have completed is what insert okay now the record is inserted so if you want to modify the record okay so you can use modify modify function okay this is also this is like it will update the existing record so as i have created this but i want to modify the name of this person so the modify statement you want to get something which is unique okay that is i am getting the customer number which is a primary key so i am just getting the number and i am just telling that you have to use this okay dot name is equal to krishna where you have to modify customer dot modify so let me just show you like what modify is uh, doing so here it will be changed to krishna okay just watch it there go and click modify you can see that the customer name has been changed to krishna and talking about the modify all okay where it will just go and search for uh, it will search for a specific occurrence and it will modify everything okay use modify all cautiously because as it affects multiple records ensure you uh, set the range correctly you have to set the range correctly here i have simply mentioned like sales person code jo wherever it finds sales person code as jo it has to modify as jr okay but whenever you are trying to modify please make sure so modify or customer is the variable which i have created which holds the customer record okay and the next one is a delete delete also like you have to get the primary key like what is the primary key which uh, which field you are going to locate okay so um, this is what delete okay so effect how you can effectively use delete for delete retrieve the record and call the delete true okay you have to retrieve the record first in the insert we haven't retrieved any record okay we have just uh, assigned the value and insert because it's a new value or else if you want to delete the record you have to tell which record you want to delete and uh, telling that what it should be a primary key okay this primary key you have to delete some completely so customer dot delete is equal to true okay and uh, while deleting all because even while deleting all please be very cautious okay so you have to be very cautious while uh, deleting uh, all using deleting all so uh, sales person code whenever it finds the sales person code as ps it will delete everything completely okay this is what and let us see the best practices for uh, uh, insert okay right from insert we will just start we will see the best practices for insert first always validate data before insertion to maintain data integrity you have to maintain the data integrity so always ensure and avoid redundant insert details so if you are using 4711 ensure that you are not uh, inserting the same key okay again and again and to talk about modify 
you have to retrieve the best practice is what you have to retrieve the correct record okay so first of all you have to retrieve so here i am using get function to retrieve the correct record and properly updated and while using a modify all okay if you are using a modify all ensure that very be very conscious and be uh, uh, very clear and ensure that you are specifying the condition properly and because it will it will affect almost all the multiple records okay so be very cautious in this and even for delete you have to get the proper uh, record using um, uh, primary key and also to delete while deleting it you have to ensure that it is true and the next one is to so delete all be cautious okay so these uh, we have seen the crud basic crud operation okay uh, crud operation to, uh, which you can f uh, which you, which can be reflected in the database okay database so everyone who are dealing with the database that is a table should know this crud operation like how to do how to deal with this okay you have to use all these crud operations properly and uh, uh, wisely so these are uh, like very important so while using this please very be very careful okay and be careful about the uh, syntax as well so once if you use any anything no delete all which means you can simply use a uh, parenthesis you don't want to tell that this is what you have to delete but for delete you have to pass the true or a false um, value okay and modify all you have to tell what you have to modify and to modify you can just simply open and close it because you have already got the primary key and you have also set the name and also for in insert you can use what you can use the insert true like you you are just passing um passing the value okay you are just passing the uh, you are telling that this is what the primary key you wanted to add and this is what the uh, this is what the uh, value you want to add it okay and in it is also a method which is a uh, actually it's a common coding thing okay it's a common uh, method which we use it okay this will uh, initialize the fields and values of a record variable to their uh, initial state okay so in it customer dot in it you are just initializing it so i hope you all find this video useful okay and in the next video we'll be discussing about um discussing about different field functions okay how you can use a uh, field functions like um calc field calc sum field error and also i'll discuss about init and detail test field and validate so if you have any queries please leave your query in the comment box if you want immediate response to your query or if you need any support please consider joining as a member so that we can uh, easily make it through thank you for watching take care bye bye